Hey, in this video we are going to create a couple of variations out of the effect we have made in the previous tutorial. That said, make sure to watch the previous video before you continue with this one. I'll leave the link in the description below. The first variation we are going to create is this. It's simply a single ripple animation that follows the mouse cursor. To create this effect, again, we are going to use the same code we've typed it in the previous tutorial, but with a few modifications. So since we are going to have one ripple that follows the cursor around, we'll need only one instance of the shockwave filter, and therefore we can get rid of the others. I'll actually leave them here because I'm going to use them later, but I won't add them to the container though. The next thing we need to do is to get the coordinates of the cursor's position. To do that we need to use the mouse move event and update the x and y variables with the values from the screen x and screen y properties respectively. Then we need to set x and y as the coordinates of the ripple's center, and that's it. The second variation is essentially a handful of raindrops that get animated within a given radius around the mouse cursor. To do that we need to update the create raindrops function by adding three lines of code. That being said, the first line is the following. Since we want the ripples to be created within a certain space and not always underneath the cursor, we need to use the x position of the cursor, the variable x more precisely, then add a random value which can be positive or negative to make the raindrop animation appear on the left and the right sides of the cursor. The distance value is going to be added manually as an argument to the create raindrop function and plus or minus is a variable that will contain negative 1 or 1 randomly based on the value returned by the static method random. That done we need to do the same thing for the y axis values. Then we need to use these values as the center coordinates of each ripple. As you see the effect works fine but since we are adding only one shockwave instance to the container we got only one ripple animation. So to make the effect more interesting let's add more ripples. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.